So hey everyone, how's it going? We are back with a new Let's Play. As you can see on the screen, this is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time from 1998 Nintendo. Mm. How do you feel about Nintendo 1998? That was my first time getting a new Nintendo console. Really? Getting like a brand spanking new one? Well, it wasn't mine, it was my brother's. But before that we held well, a regular enough. Nintendo. We skipped the Super Nintendo. You, you skipped down the Super Nintendo. We never had one. Like it was just some like minor fad, that we got, Super Nintendo. We got the regular Nintendo when my cousins got the Super Nintendo. I see. So we let the intro play out and there was actually a scene we didn't really see before. I don't know, I guess I, I can include it inside the video. But yeah, we're doing Ocarina of Time. So about eight years ago, we started playing Twilight Princess. And that was the first Let's Play we did. Now we're doing Ocarina of Time after <laughs> such a long delay between games. Is this your favorite Zelda game? Now, there's a lot to talk about. That is one of the topics which I was going to get to. I guess we can talk about it now. No reason not to. A lot of people say this is their favorite Zelda game, although that, that's kind of changed. I mean, there's been quite a few Zelda games in between now at this point. But no, this wasn't the first one I played, which is also a thing. A lot of people say it's their first game. I had played A Link to the Past. I did play the other two Zelda games before this. Also, I did play Link's Awakening, which... So, I guess three Zelda games before this. I don't think there are any more unless you're on account the really ridiculous ones. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. The CDI games, which... Oh man, those are legendary. But no, I played this game... It was, I guess, you know, a fourth Zelda game. This was the fourth Zelda game. So, I had played other Zelda games. It wasn't really my favorite. I mean, I'm saying that now. When I played the game, I, had, I enjoyed the hell out of it, obviously, like a lot of other people. It was quite a change in pace from uh, the other games. I mean, this was the first 3D one, first 3D world. Uh, yeah, N64. That's the power of the N64. A big transition. But I, I really like A Link to the Past. I like... Majora's Mask a bit better than this one. And I'm never really good at pointing out favorites. I always have trouble doing that. So it's something I don't usually do. But I, I don't know. It's definitely a good Zelda game. I don't, I'm not really criticizing it. I don't want to come off that way. But I, I did like the other games as well. So it's hard for me to say. What about you? Since you brought it up. Oh, this was my first Zelda game. Uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't I so even that. know what a Zelda game was. <laughs> you didn't even really. No, I only yeah, had a them. regular Nintendo, and we had like Lolo and Mario. You didn't have Zelda for the regular Nintendo. We got it after. You got it afterwards. Yeah. So you played this, and then this. you got regular <laughs> Zelda. Yeah. Wow, what a thing to go back to after playing like this game. Well, my brother did. I don't think I never played the regular Nintendo. I'm not a big Zelda fan of the original Zelda game, to be perfectly honest. I did a little stream of it at one point. And I played the game through pretty much all the way, I think, in one or two streams, and yeah. Like, I did play the game when I was younger, too, obviously, like I, I said before. But for some reason, I'm not really a big fan of it. I think it's just, like, a little too outdated at this point. <laughs> Even though I did play it when I was little, like, just going back and playing it now. Just, like, trying to be objective about it. It wasn't really, like, the greatest experience, in my opinion. I guess we'll get this started. We can talk during the intro. I mean, the intro... I don't know. We don't really need to read it. Everyone knows this intro. If you don't, it's very simple. Like, you can just read the text. But, yeah, continuing on just about that. The original Zelda game, I don't know. I'm not really, like, a huge fan of it. Like, it's a good game for its time. Don't get me wrong. Whoa. Link is sleeping what on the What is floor. happening? <laughs> I'm going to say that's probably a glitch with the emulation. I think what's happening is... Is he flying? No. He's supposed to be on the bed. I think what's happening is because it's, uh, like, stretched out. To oh, there you go. He looks normal now. Well, that's just because he's in front. Well, that's true. What's going on is I think it's stretching out, like, the background textures a little bit. Should his eyes be closed? No, he actually does sleep like that. They didn't animate his, like, closed eyes That's in the game. That's so creepy. That is, that is actually the original programmers being lazy. <laughs> this game wasn't originally widescreen. This part's really loud. So this game is being rendered in widescreen by the emulator. And it actually gets it right a lot of the time. But I think with those, like, old, like, pre-rendered backgrounds, they're not going to work correctly. But since most of the game is rendered in 3D, it should be fine. It's just when we have those pre-rendered backgrounds, it's probably going to look a little wonky. Kind of like that. <laughs> I always liked uh, A Link to the Past a lot better than uh, the original Zelda. And probably Link to the Past is arguably my favorite. And now we're introduced to the character, which uh, <laughs> was very controversial. <laughs> well, I don't know if controversial is the word for it, but that annoyed a lot of people growing up. Navi I've never met a single person that liked her. Yeah, kind of the same. I've, I've never heard anyone say anything too positive about her. Although, in retrospect, I've heard a lot of people say that they had more annoying characters like this in the future. Oh, really? Um, 
I don't know the name of the character, but there's someone in Skyward Sword that's apparently even worse than Navi. Oh, God. Since I never played Skyward Sword, I don't know who it is. I only played like five or ten minutes, maybe 15 minutes of that game. Well, I didn't like the uh, the fairies in Majora's Mask. They, well, they I like actually them better, have actually, like a personality. Navi doesn't really yeah. have personality. They were actually characters. I mean, it's a Zelda game, so none of the characters are like too in-depth, but they were actually characters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, the time's come for the boy without a fairy in red text. I gotta love whenever they do that in these games. Just random text is red or blue or some kind of emphasis. Some color they choose to be bold, I guess. I don't know. It's supposed to indicate. Only fairyless people are red. Um, I just made that up. Yeah. Okay. I don't. It, it could be true for all I know. <laughs> At least I've never seen like a rhyme or reason for why they do that in this game, or in the other Zelda games too. So I think they do in the future games. Here we go. This might be the first game to do that. I don't think they really had, like, different colored text in The Link to the Past or the games before this. That asshole. Oh, that asshole, yeah. We all know him. Hello. Hello. So, it's a lot of fun to go back to after all these years, because we played the original... Well, what am I talking about? Our original Let's Play, like, the first Let's Play we did, is what I mean to say, was Twilight Princess. And I always did want to come to this eventually, but I don't know, there's just always stuff getting in the way. And there was the, it was always, like, kind of controversial to do Nintendo games. Like, it wasn't really clear what they were going to do about it, but they've kind of, like, finally relented on their policies of monetizing everything for themselves. They're probably not going to ever do anything against this at this point. At least that's how I feel. Hello. Yes, hello, Link. Wake up. You're a lazy asshole. How dare you sleep? Sleepy on the job. The Great Deku choose red, so... Does he have a fairy? I mean, he's, like... Point he's like the in. main spirit of the but forest. But he doesn't have his own fairy. Technically, no, he doesn't have a fairy. There we go. Oh my god. Can Hydra's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? How dare you. He's trying to rush you, damn fairy. Oh, and since I mentioned that this is on an emulator, like, there couldn't be some issues, but I did some testing prior to this, and this is like the best version of the emulated game I could find. I'm emulating it with Project 64. Did you try Warm Potato? No, I didn't. That's another story. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of emulators you can use for N64, and for whatever reason, this one doesn't get recommended a lot. They're like, oh, don't use Project 64. All the other ones I had issues with, of some sort or another, this is actually working the best. Like, I know we had that little issue with Link <laughs> lying face down over here instead of on the bed, but, like, that just comes with doing the widescreen hack. It just... Some things are going to look weird on these kinds of, uh... Backgrounds like this. Like, see, that looked weird, too. Oh. It's kind of inevitable, just because of the way the uh, graphics engine works. What they could have done, though, is they could have had it so that when you're in an area like that, it doesn't use the widescreen hack. But, I don't know, maybe it's too much of a pain to set up correctly. It's like, actually account for all those kinds of rooms. There's actually not too many of these in the game where it's going to look like that. So. Do a fancy... Oh, wow, we totally meant to do that land right in front of you. Do a fancy- Oh wow, we totally meant to do that land right in front of you. Well, you're impressed by the fairy, not me doing that backflip off the house. Sure. He really let me down. That. I mean, I guess we could do the voices for this part. I don't know, what do you think? Like, Saria and the other kids? Eh, I don't sure. know. I think we usually did that. Go for it. You're, uh, Saria. Link doesn't talk. <laughs> Great. Finally, a fairy came to you, Link. Wow, that's great news! I'm so happy for you! Now, you're a true Kokiri, Link. Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? Yeah, bitch. It's quite an honor to my talk day. to the Great Deku Tree. You know, since I'm supposed to be Link and Link doesn't talk, I just put in whatever words I want, pretending to be his. Give him the gruffest <laughs> voice. Well, I just meant, like, he would say something rude. I'm not gonna do like, any particular voice for him. I'll wait for you too here. Much work. Get going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. And yeah, if you feel bad about having a voice, like, her don't I have to voice like the Deku Tree lady who's gonna like tell us the longest story ever. And the owl. This is like very controversial. Like, why does Link know what a dinosaur is? It's Reptar. It does look like Reptar. People are like, oh, why are they putting dinosaurs in Legend of Zelda? It's not supposed to be in there. I don't know. I'm, I'm just kidding. I don't know if anyone actually was offended by that. Maybe it's a Dodongo. I guess it's a possibility, but that doesn't look like what the Dodongos look like. And yeah, if you remember these games, Navi's gonna try to interrupt you every so often. 
talk about some nonsense. What is this girl to say? Oh, you have a fairy now. That's great, Link. Yeah, fantastic. What? You've been called by the great Deku Tree? What an honor. He may give you a special gift. Tee <laughs> That's because the great Deku Tree is our father, the forest guardian, and he gave life to all of us the king. It makes it sound very suspicious that Tee Hee there. <laughs> yeah, Navi, I know. You're gonna tell me to go to the Deku Tree. You never really have to check Navi's dialogue unless you're really confused about what you're doing. I'm sure most of you know that already, but I'm just gonna say that for anyone that hasn't played this game sometime in the last 20 years, since this game is 20 years now, 20 years old. Oh, yes, please interrupt me more. I mean, I guess you should be reading that, but I don't really care because that's like a stupid tutorial. This is probably gonna look weird too. If we get. Yep, that did look weird. Where the background's supposed to be is in the wrong area. That's because it's like kind of stretched. Um. I don't think we can afford any of this stuff. No, we can't. Alright, uh, can I just quit? Yes, thank you. I'm sure they say something about equipping items, which is just going to be more tutorial. I will say, I'm very impressed with the uh, how far the emulation's come so far, because we were talking before, we did play this game, like, maybe it was 10 years ago or whatever, maybe a little bit longer than that, but we did play this at one point on an emulator, and they didn't really have all the stuff where you could, like, make it widescreen. Like, normally this game would be... You know, the 4 3 aspect ratio wouldn't look. wouldn't fill up the whole screen. Or, presuming you're looking at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio on YouTube, which isn't necessarily a given anymore, since now you have those, like, super widescreen monitors. Have you seen them? No. Oh, alright. Well, they're even wider. I think they're, like, 21 by 9. That's what I want to say. But. Yeah, I, I don't know if you could emulate that kind of. Wideness, that'd be like really weird looking. I don't know. I haven't really played any of those games at the aspect ratio. So, there's like a whole bunch of stuff you could do. I don't know if you're supposed to figure this out in any particular way. I just remember because this is how you've like always played the game. You just come back here and this is where you get the sword. If we did go to the tree right now, that douchebag Mido would tell us, like, oh, screw, screw out of here, Link. We don't want to talk to you. You should at least have a shield and a sword if you want to come back here. You remember that, right? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, close enough. I think his uh, little, like, sidestep crab walk is funny. Oh, when you're doing that with Link? Mm -hmm. The Mido, or whatever his name is. Oh, yeah, that's what you mean. Okay. His little, like, crab walk yeah, walking. Yeah, we'll show that off if we can. Yeah, thank you. We got the Kokiri sword. We can equip it. Do all that stuff. They don't like skip this text because this is very important. You don't want to get this confused now, do you? Oh boy. I don't think it usually sounds like it's struggling so hard, but hey, that's what you get. At least we have like the game warning in the super high resolution and not looking completely blocky like it normally would. We can buy a shield. We can. I'm sure most people know, but if you really want to get around, oh, I should probably wait till I get out of here. Because I was going to show something off, but I can't do it right now. I have to crawl through here. Alright. If you really want to go super quick, and it's not really going to work here either, but you go like this, and like, I forget, it's like two or three times the speed of just walking normally, if you walk backwards like this. You have to make sure you're going completely backwards. So if you're doing it like side like this, that isn't any quicker. That's just crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. Sorry if I have to be so blunt. You know, I've been completely distracted talking about the things I should be talking about. So one of the things that a lot of people do when they're playing Zelda games is they try to get 100% of the items. Mm -hmm. You've heard of that, right? Mm -hmm. Come on. I had to let the fanfare play out. So we could go and get all the items in this game, which I definitely want to do. Well, all the items you pretty much have to get, it's like the extra stuff. You know what I mean? Like the hearts. The heart. I've never yeah. gotten all of the hearts. Because I just didn't care enough. I think aside from the hearts, what is there? Like, wallet upgrades? I don't know. And, of course, bottles. most... Yeah, bottles. Most notably, from this game, 
there's the uh, spiders. It's called chulas. Oh, chulas. yeah. I never did all those either. There's a hundred of them. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to find all hundred of them on my own. I'd have to, like, look up a guide, probably. I think you only need to get, like, 50 to get most of the important stuff. Yeah, I think I've done that, but I've never gotten all 100. There's some stuff in this house which I'm just going to pick up. Oh, this is a useless house. So, we'll probably get at least 50. I don't know if we'll go and get more than that. We could try to do them all, but what I'll need is probably your guys' help. I'm not going to remember, like, which ones I collect and which ones I don't. So if anyone wants to keep track of, like, which school chillers we find... Oh, hey, sorry, I didn't mean to vandalize your house. Well, I mean, I didn't mean to do it. I just didn't mean for you to find me. My sister took some rupees and went shopping at the store that has a red roof. Tee-hee. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. Speaking of rupees, which don't have fairies, oh. a green one is worth one, a blue one is worth five, and a red one is worth twenty. Hee-hee. <laughs> I didn't realize she was a talking tutorial as well. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, I think mostly the other characters are going to say, like, similar crap. Like, nothing's going to be too important if you actually talk to them. There is some she stuff- She just materialized out of nowhere. Yeah, the the uh, view distance in this game isn't the greatest. There's some other stuff you could do in the town, but I don't think there's anything too important. You can go into the forest right now if you really want to. I don't think can it's going to get you or anything. is the guy blocking? Into the forest? He's not blocking that. This guy's blocking this way. Like, he doesn't even step. He just- He's, like, on a- A weird... rail. There is a trick you could do if you're like playing on the original N64 where you could just lift your cartridge slightly up. Uh, but really? if you do it just right, you could actually get by him somehow. I, I don't know how that works. It's something to do with like... Now he looks creepy. He's just game. like humping when he's staying still. Yeah. That is really weird looking. Anyway, let's talk to this jerkwad. If you want to see the great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Eh? eh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield? And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how'd you get to be the favorite of Saria and the great Deku Tree, huh? <laughs> and there he stomps off slightly to the side and- He's like completely bow-legged all the time, like he's riding an invisible horse. Yeah, yeah, you'll never accept this, shut up. Oh, surprise <laughs> me. Well, maybe you just can't see the horse. <laughs> it's because Link didn't have a fairy until this very moment. Yeah, the Deku stick does stuff. Which stuff. You don't need to know that right now. If you do this, you can actually grind up some items, which actually isn't a bad idea. You'll be using a lot throughout the game to burn up... Well, not burn up, but light torches. I'm trying to think if you do burn up stuff in this game. I think you do in later ones. Yeah, don't you have to um burn... Uh, right in this temple, the spider Yes, that's right, in this one. Spider yeah, it's like the first thing you do, actually. I forgot. I know it was something you did in Zel other What's that games. white stuff called? I couldn't think of the word. Spider webs. I don't know how many you could carry. Did we ever get to the limit? Hold on. Let mm -hmm. me look. Uh, Probably one more. Yeah, I think you're gonna be right. Nine is an odd. Oh, number. you... Stupid there plant. Oh, okay, it turns green. Yes, I totally remembered that. All right, story time. Oh, this is Navi first. Grand Taco Tree, I'm back. Oh, maybe we shouldn't do a voice for it. Now <laughs> I think about it. Oh, Navi. <laughs> I don't think she talks that much, though. It's all right. Oh, Navi, thou hast returneth. I think I have to add unnecessary, like, old <laughs> English to him. Linketh, welcometh. <laughs> Listen carefully to what I have the Deku Tree. Oh, I'm gonna stop doing that. I'm about to tell you, I'm just gonna piss people off. Thy slumber these past moons must have been res restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. I think we had one. Verily, thou hast felt it. Link, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task, or are you right? What happened? The whole screen flashed red. You didn't see it? No, I didn't. What? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Maybe you're having a stroke. Then enter, brave Link, and thou too, Navi. I don't know, there probably was something I like, missed for a second. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Link. And Link, when Navi speaks, use. That's. What was it? I forget what the button was on the N64 C, controller. C. Yeah, okay, up. they call it C. Yeah, C up to listen well to her words of wisdom. 
Well, we're not using a. How is he speaking with his mouth giantly open? Uh, <laughs> and he has no tongue, otherwise we would have stepped on it. Oh, that would have been uncomfortable. 